Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. And welcome to today's video about the Maca filter by La 67 from Barcelona, Spain. You can call it La 67 if you like. And uh, let me just have a read here what the website says about the Maca filter. It's a four pole multi-mode filter based on the SSI 2140 integrated circuit. Essentially an updated version of the classic SSM 2040. The new SSI 2140 adds better temperature compensation and a VCA that helps eliminate low frequency damping at high resonance settings. Besides the obligatory 4-pole low-pass, Maca adds both 2-pole low-pass and 4-pole band-pass outputs. There's also an input level control that allows you to easily overdrive the filter core. You do have resonance CV input as well, an FM input with an attenuverter. And uh, yeah, so let's go to the test area here and have a play with it. I just finished recording the TZ oscillator video. Let's send the saw wave from the TZ to the uh, to the filter input here and we'll start by looking at and listening to the low pass four pole output so we're gonna stick it in the oscillator here in the oscilloscope sorry and we'll take this output to a VCA and then out to the mixer. Let's listen to the, what that sounds like. We'll turn down the resonance of the filter for now. Wow, it's rubbery. Sounds very nice. Let's use an LFO for this modulation so I don't have to be turning the knob. So that can be into the FM input here, which has an attenuate further. Right? And now as we listen to the sweep, we can play around with a couple of things. So one of them is the level. So we can hear that overdrive. See how that distorts the, uh, the signal. All right, let's attenuate the LFO a little bit, make it a little faster. And we can bring that back down. Yeah. See, as, as you turn down the input level, we hear more resonance, right? More pronounced resonance. There's a center detent on this level knob here, which I assume is unit again. And there it is, a little more distorted. Let's let's start listening to the resonance. Bringing that up. Very cool. Classic sound in a very cool, small, easy to build module. Pretty much nothing but what you would need. All right, let's modulate that Q, which is the resonance, with a different output from filter 8 here. Or maybe we'll use a different LFO altogether, so that the... Yeah, so that the rhythms are not related. Isn't that nice? <laughs> let's uh, let's use a sequence because this is getting boring. Let's listen to just one note. So we'll get a clock out of this contour one here and send it. Send it to trigger this. Promise I won't take long. Output here into vocal octave input here, and uh, we need to trigger this sequencer as well. There it goes. We can trigger an envelope generator too, and use it for the VCA. Wow. <laughs> 
Very nice. Super nice sounding filter. Let's listen to the low the low pass two output. Yeah. Sounds quite different. Let's turn down the level here so it's not distorting so much. Yeah, and we hear the resonance way more. Let's turn this down a bit. Got a little loud. Alright, so that's the two pole input. Output, rather. Four pole output again. Definitely more rubbery. And here's the band pass. Let's, let's remove the resonance modulation for now. So we can manually control resonance here. So that's low pass 4, low pass 2, and band pass. Super cool. Here's a more resonance in the band pass. Here's distorted. A little bit of saturation. Let's go back to low pass 4. As they said, the obligatory output. Oof. Don't that sound nice? How about we get a different envelope generator instead of that LFO? Let's ping this guy here. And we'll use, we'll use this output instead. Oh, there you go, it was inverted. I had the attenuate inverter. Super nice, huh? Sounds wonderful. How about with the square wave? Very nice as well. You can turn that down so it saturates less. And we still have the volt proactive input. Which I guess we can take a second output from the ornament and crime here as a shift register. Stick it in there, it's going to make it interesting. Very cool. And if I take out the input, it does go into self-oscillation, see? So this is now the, the Mac all by itself. And then I can send the, uh, the sine wave from TZ. Instead of sending it to the input, I can send it to the uh, proactive input or the FM input. And now we're doing frequency modulation. Doesn't that sound nice? Ooh, love that. It sounds beautiful. Let's go into chaos oscillator here for that FM input. Sounds wonderful. And that's it. That's it for the demo of this filter. I'm pretty sure you could think of more things to do with it. Like pinging it. Ah, I haven't pinged it. Why don't we ping it? 
So let's remove everything. We're just listening to it oscillating in itself. All right, we've got the VCA going here. Let's uh, let it just let it just be, and we'll bring down resonance to where it just stops. Now let's put uh, TZ in low frequency mode, so it's kind of on a four o'clock, and we'll use the saw wave to ping this. There it goes. really nice. Well, it's with the square wave. Nice too. It pings it on the way down as well as up. Cool. Like the kinds of sounds I get out of the pendulum that I really love. All right. So, yeah, I think that concludes it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the Maca filter by La 67. And uh, keep watching. We're going to see how it's built. It's really easy to build. It's just the panel components. Uh, all of the board components, the electronic components are pre-soldered, they are SMD, they come pre-soldered from the factory, so this is a really easy kit to build, so check that out, and yeah, let's build it. Alright, so let's open up the little baggie, and inside you will find all of the hardware components, the panel, the power cable, the mounting screws, and the PCB with all of the SMD already pre-soldered. So this is another one of those where all you have to really do is the hardware stuff. So we'll start with the power connector. Start by soldering just one pin, make sure it's all straight, and then continue and solder on the rest. Now the trim pot, just make sure the screw is facing outward and solder it on. Next come the potentiometers. Only one of them is a plastic tall trimmer. It goes on the top spot and then the other ones go below it. Now stick in all of the jacks. You can slip on the panel now. Slip the washers over each pot. then tighten all the nuts. Now you can solder it all up. Finish tightening those nuts. Careful not to scratch the panel. If you use pliers like me, you couldn't quite fit my tool on these pots. And push in the knobs. These knobs have removable caps that you position on after you have slipped the knobs on. And that's it. You're done. Super easy, right? All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video and the filter. I hope you get yourself a kit. This is really easy to build. And that's it. See you soon and stay noisy.